we are on the 11th video of getting started with python quickly 2022 here we are we will study functions so function is a block of code which performs a specific task so you can have function for addition subtraction multiplication division and so on so there are two types of function inbuilt function and user defined function inbuilt function we have seen previously for example length so the length, when we apply a length function, we directly get the output length of the string or a sequence. But to create a user-defined function inside of Python, we have to follow the following syntax. First is you have to give the def keyword, then the function name. In front of the function name, you have to give opening and closing parentheses followed by a colon. Then the block of the function starts. Therefore, you have to give a tab and give the statements inside the function. In, in the first case, we are creating a function with the name fun1 and inside it, we are printing function without any arguments or parameters. So it does not take any parameters or argument and directly prints a statement on the user screen. This is function definition. So we will select the function and press shift enter to run. So this function will run inside the terminal. Now just the function is created and we have not called the function. To execute the function, we have to call the function from a specific point of our program. So what we will do, we will go to the next statement, which is on line number eight, and we will run this function. So when you execute this function on the terminal, the function will look like this. So you can see the terminal below. We selected the function and press shift enter. So you can see the function is now defined. Now we have to run the function. Click on the line function one and press shift enter. Function is executed, control was transferred and line was printed on the user screen. You can run this function and number of times. So again, we are pressing shift enter function ran for the second time and we get the output function without any argument. Now, when you have to write a function which is uh, taking multiple parameters do the, doing the processing and returning a value, then that function is called as function with parameters or function with argument. So we are writing a function sum. So keyword def name of the function in this case name of the function is sum it is accepting two arguments as parameter a and b inside the body of the function means when we enter inside the sum function we are creating a new variable total we are adding the value received in a and b and storing it in total and we are returning the value using a return statement so return in front of it, opening and closing parentheses at a total variable and the function ends. You can select the function and run the function by pressing shift enter. See the function is defined now. To run the function, we have to call the function. This function is returning one value. That value is to be stored somewhere or it can be directly printed on the user screen. So when we are calling some function, we are passing two values, 10 and 20. 10 will be stored in A, 20 will be stored in B. Total will be performed and total will be written. This total return at this point will be stored in Z and Z will be printed on the user screen. If you select these two lines and press shift enter, you can see the output that the total of A and B is 30. Uh, one more execution you can do is you can directly print inside the print you can call the sum function and you can pass the arguments 100 and 200 100 will be stored in a 200 will be stored in b 100 plus 200 will be performed stored in total and then the total will be written after this it will be written to the call point it will return here and directly through the print statement, it will be printed on the user screen. So we go to the statement where we have called the function 
and run it. So on this line, press shift enter, the current line was executed and we get 300 on the user screen. To come out of the terminal, Python terminal, press QUIT, opening and closing parentheses. So what we have seen, how to create a user defined function inside Python using def keyword. And we have seen two examples, function without argument and function with argument. 